Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> so, it's been a year of intense learning of Spanish. And I've really enjoyed it. It's um, helped me connect with some like-minded people, um, make new friends, new connections, which has been such a joyous thing. But along the way, it's learning a different language, a new language, has helped me actually, which has been the biggest gift, is paying more attention to words. Now, I've always like watched movies, TV shows, you know, spiritual documentaries, or like listen to people, but I've been aware that I've actually, it's like I've trained my brain to be more aware of every word. Because learning a language, you have to learn, you have to listen, you have to take, pay attention. And at, at first, it sounds like blah, 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 because you, you can't understand any of the words. You don't recognize them. It's all new to you. It was for me. I had never learned another language before. I mean, I've learned German when I was at school. And it, it took some time because it's like, God, everything's different, like completely different. Um, but I chose Spanish because, like, it's one of the biggest languages out there. And at the time, I was in a relationship and I wanted to, you know, speak their, their language and understand. And when the relationship broke away, I continued. And it's something that motivated me, I think, after having, you know, a bit of difficult time breaking away from that um, that relationship, you know. It's something that kept me focused and challenged me. I love a good challenge. So along the way, like, it's been, you know, over, over a year, actually, uh, since I've been learning. I think it's been two and a half years, two years, something like that. Probably two years that I started learning. But I had a space of a year where I wasn't learning a lot. I was busy doing lots of different things and had the time for it. But the year of 2020 um, brought me, you know, lots of people on my way who spoke Spanish, um, new connections, um, connections across the world, actually, at different places. Um, speaking to some, some clients, um, some customers, um, and also, um, so not just Spanish, but also uh, Brazilian. Brazilian is, is a little bit similar to Spanish in some ways. And sometimes people who speak Brazilian sometimes learn or know a little bit of Spanish. Um, and we had a trance painter here, uh, Jose Madrado, goes into trance. And I spoke a little bit to him in Spanish because I could understand some things, but not a lot. Um, so that was like, really helpful. And then I've been aware of other things as well, like in our, in England, we used to have a company called Calor Gas, which is now called Flow Gas, it's changed. But Calor means hot, and I never knew that, I just thought it was the name of the company. And now I've been aware of other words around the town where I live, uh, in Bridgewater, there's places like Bonita Drive, which is like, means pretty, like pretty drive. Um, I've been more aware of time and and also, uh, you know, new connections made in like Mexico. And, um, and it's like learning about different cultures as well. Uh, as much as I love the Spanish language, I've, I've always found the Latin, Latin American Spanish much more easier, a lot more easier spoken because it's more American. Um, the, the, the Spanish from Spain, I always found a bit more abrupt and stronger. I can never understand it as much. And then having some connections in, in Mexico was um, really insightful. And I was like, oh, I can just about understand what they're saying. And they're a lot more easy to understand. So learning Spanish was a real big eye opener. It's connected me with some beautiful people in my life. Um, and I'd say along the way, it's really retrained my brain to learn um, different ways of learning um, and not just Spanish, uh, diff a different language, but it's allowed me to really concentrate. 
I was diagnosed with uh, ADHD, I, I believe, when I was younger, or hyperactivity, and the doctor said I'll grow out of it, which I had. But s since very young, I've always had a bit of like dys dyslexia and, you know, and attention, you know, defect disorder, basically, and not being able to be attentive and, and be focused. I'm always a hands-on physical sort of like learner, so learning things with like writing and books, I, I could never read a book. Uh, I could if I had to, but like I just find that I start daydreaming. And now when I read, I feel like I'm actually being present with the words and the pages and being quite visual in my mind. So I feel like, you know, uh, somebody with, you know, attention defect disorder, I guess, when I was younger, um, it's, it's softened, you know, now as I got older, but I think that definitely the, the language learning, learning a, uh, a language, you know, yo aprendiendo es español todos los días. <laughs> I, I'm learning Spanish every day. Um, it's, yeah, it's got me to be more calmer and more present and be aware of lots of more writing around me. As I've always been aware, uh, very aware, but it's made me be more hyper aware uh, my senses have like heightened i'm not sure it's just a shift in the in reality i don't know but things have allowed me to be a lot more taken focus and that's what it is i think it's more it's given me more laser like focus um to really learn and that's been such a beautiful gift i do have my times where i feel very just stressed out trying to learn the language and i speak to somebody who's like spanish you know and it's like oh okay what i know is baby steps but it's a start and if you're looking to learn a language just never give up just do it every day do a little bit just refresh your mind do a lesson i've been using duolingo now for a year and a half or two years two years and it's been great. Um, I've gotten to a point now where they've changed the settings on there, so you lose points and you can't keep learning, so I've had to like pay for it monthly. Um, but it's been worth it because like it's it's getting me to challenge and to keep learning and learning, which I'm really, really happy about. And it's great because I get so excited when, you know, someone who's speaking Spanish, I'm like, oh, I want to join in. I want to like say hi. And I've noticed even walking around my, my town here, it's such a small town, but I've met, I haven't met properly, but I've said, you know, hola to a few people. I've heard them speak in Spanish and I say, oh, like, you know, donde eres, you know, where are you from? And, and, uh, yeah, it's like, you know, uh, vivo, vivo in Inglaterra. <laughs> I live in England. I'm still a bit rusty. I know quite a lot of words. I don't know how many I haven't counted, but like, you know, I can say some basic stuff, um, which I, it's a breakthrough for me. Um, I'm really happy about that. When I was in Costa Rica um, a, year, a year ago, like I, I knew very little, um, I knew very little Spanish, hardly knew anything. It was, it was a nice place to visit. It's just, I wasn't prepared for the language and it opened up my eyes to the world and you know, lovely country. But it was the, you know, if I, if I spoke the language more so, I would have been more prepared and, and more content. But yeah, like, you know, if you're learning a language, it's it's such a great solitude. It's something to, well, for me, it kept me focused, um, especially during the whole pandemic and lockdowns and everything. And then, you know, then connecting with really special people in my life now who, you know, who are, some are English and Spanish speaking, uh, some are like Mexican, um, yeah, like Paraguay and other places. It's been great, you know, like I haven't, you know, and my cousin is speaking, you know, she's got a partner and, you know, she's speaking Spanish and learning. So it's it's nice to have that connection. And what I've noticed is that as a culture, I mean, us English, and no offense to my English friends out there are speaking, but there's some ways in which we are very different. Um, I was in a relationship many years ago and she was Greek. And like, I didn't realize how big the importance of food is, you know, like in England, it's kind of like you're told to sit down and eat your meal. That's it. You have yours. And like, if you're good, you have pudding. And when I was out there in, in Greece, they were like, just 
they're laughing. They're like, oh no, if you can't eat your dinner, it's right, you have pudding. It's not, you know, you're not getting punished because it's food. And they found that funny. And the big thing about sharing, they put everything on, on plates and you just help yourself. And it was just much a different culture. So when I went out there, I was, I had, in front of me was a whole plate of broccoli and they're like, you're out with the broccoli. I'm like, was that not my plate? I'm like, no, you just, you just pick. <laughs> it's just so funny. So culture, culture is beautiful. Um, some beautiful things in Mexico when they speak about um, the Day of the Dead, um, honoring you know their ancestors who are passed over into the spirit world, and and you know they they put up some flowers and pictures. I think this is very beautiful, and we don't do that in England. It's like taking these different traditions into you know celebrating it your own way. And that's one thing I've realised about life is that celebrations we need to celebrate. You know we need times where we can celebrate. Uh, the pagan traditions they talk about like you know the, la luna the moon <laughs> um that um you know they celebrate the the cycles of of the moon and the solstices and it's like you know celebrations are important and learning a, a culture learning a, a different language it can really connect you with other people and that's what we need right now is connections you know these bubbles of connections in order to us to connect with other people which i think is very very beautiful so yeah, learning learning a language has been great. I've been so happy like learning a different language and it's been baby steps. It's been good for my brain. It's been good brain training, remem remembering things. Like your brain is something that, you know, you need to keep active all the time. When we get older, we start to lose memory and yeah, like I'm not gonna give up learning Spanish. It's, um, I can't say that in Spanish yet, like I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm going to keep trying. It's going to take some time. Um, they say to really speak a language, it can take three to seven years. And it's like, well, then currently I'm 34 years old. So when I'm 44 years old, I should have really nailed the language. I would have come a long way. So just half an hour a day is all you need. I've been doing sometimes two or three or four hours, and, and especially during lock lockdown when there was not much to do. And that kept me very focused. So 2020 is, you know, the year 2020, the, the COVID year time of, you know, dark times for many people has been in one way a very beautiful time for people to gain a lot of knowledge and insight. And rather than sitting down watching Netflix all day, which I don't, I'm not really into, um, I like to challenge myself and learn things. So yeah, learning Spanish has been great. Um, and connecting with, you know, a new partner and like new friends and, you know, lovely people who have great hearts and great cultures and, you know, helping me learn, learn it along the way have been great. So yeah, never stop learning a language. It's been, been really good. Um, if you don't know which one to start with, I don't know, look at, look into the cultures that you like or the countries. I know we can't travel so much at the moment. Uh, this is 2021, January the 1st. Um, I'm speaking right now, <laughs> um, but like, it's, yeah, give yourself a challenge. It's something that can really give you some focus. And if you're feeling quite lost right now, then I don't know, just, it's a routine. It's something to keep focused on. Anyway, I have spoken and, um, have a great day. Uh, bueno dia. <laughs> and, um, I'll see you soon. Adios. Goodbye.